I've set up a Chotec 19 watt monocrystalline panel. Uh, it's got three panels compared to the power film, which is a amorphous silicon. It's a very flexible, soft silicon. It can roll up where this is a very hard silicon. Uh, this is a five volt output and this is a 12 volt output. It actually puts out about 18, 19 volts. This panel, you can see there's 12 panels. The pure size of the panel can really tell you how much more wattage this panel can produce than this panel. The 19 watts is just stuff that really, it just isn't gonna happen. And in low light condition, this panel's going to even do worse. If you had uh, a branch that came across this like that, and the shadow that would be produced in this area is going to affect these two panels. This monocrystalline can only produce what the weakest sunlight is on the, on the panel. Where this amorphous panel, it doesn't matter if you cast a shadow in a small portion of this panel like that, it would, this panel that has the shadow of my hand in it would be affected, but the rest of the panels will produce quite a bit of wattage. Uh, you can see the see this in experiments on Power Films uh, website. What I've got going here after a, a hour and 25 minutes and we're producing around uh, 1800 to 2000 looms off the panel. You can see I have a, a, a solar par meter right here and we are charging an anti-gravity power pack. This anti-gravity power pack is now on its uh, fifth light. It was already, uh, third, one of the lights was already charged up. This takes a 12 volt input. Uh, the adapter is a 14 volt one amp, and we are currently pushing in 17 volts and 0.65 amps. So we're pu putting about 11.2 11.6 watts. Uh, you can see we're up to 9,000 milliamp hours of a 12,000 milliamp power supply. So this will charge up probably here in about two hours at this wattage. So this is a, a nice setup. I would normally put a drop a buck converter in here with constant current and constant voltage to protect the, this power, power pack, but I wanted to see if it can handle the 17 to 18 volts and it does it doesn't get that hot but you can see 100 degrees at, at the DC converter and in the back we would probably go down to the 80s panels are running let's see if I can see show you that we're running about hundred and thirty degrees 140 degrees at the top of the panel maybe 150 degrees whereas the monocrystal 140s yeah, not too bad. They do get a little hotter. They're a little harder and they're not near as flexible. So I'd always opt for this. This weighs about 1.8 pounds where this is going to weigh about 1.3 pounds. So for a half pound, you get a tremendous more wattage output from a power film panel. It's flexible so it can roll up. This is military tested. They literally shoot this with bullets. And if you shot this six or eight times, you would only lose about uh, one watt of power. Uh, you can see those on Power Films website also where they shoot these panels. If you shot this panel, it wouldn't last very long at all. And because it is monocrystalline, it can break and shatter. Where this is very flexible, I've, I've put it through a lot and have no problem. Again, the, these also bubble up in the sun where these have, I've had no problem with these bubbling up. So out of the two systems, I would always go with my power film. Although that's a $300 panel, the power film is for 30 watts. And this is about a $75 Chotec panel. But it just doesn't put out the wattage that it claims. You can just look at the sheer size, a three panel versus a 12 panel, and tell that uh, really in low loom conditions, the power film is going to outwin every time. On our power film, you can see we're at about an hour and 43 minutes. This usually takes about 
three to four hours to charge this XP-1 and it looks like we're almost full at uh, hour and 43 minutes. Of course now we've jumped up to 19 volts and our wattage is at like 2.5. So you can see our amperage has really dropped. That means this battery's almost full. Uh, let's see how many milliamp hours we're in. Um, coming up, there we go. We're at 10,057 of a 12,000 milliamp battery and you can see we're almost full here so let's just give this a few more minutes and we're still at around a thousand looms uh, suns coming out of course my shadow is affecting it too but we are getting some clouds but that's okay we're almost full it's this this pack is definitely handling the 19 volts 19.6 volts okay at an hour and 53 minutes we've dropped our looms quite a bit we're only at 360 looms and uh we're down to 0.02 amps so this battery pack is almost full we're at 0.3 watts and we've jumped up to 19.3 volts so uh, the battery pack, you can see we're at 10,000 uh, milliamp hours. To give you an idea how much it's cooled off, even though we're outside and now we're at like 30 degrees because the sun's gone down so much. To give you an idea where we're at on this panel, we're at 35 degrees. So our sun has really gone down give you an idea of what kind of cloud cover we're at or like something of that nature okay I've set up my uh, power film hot solar panel uh, kind of windy but I wanted to try to see if we could get some uh, wattage rating you can see there's almost no sun there but it's so windy today we're just not going to get a good recording but let's go ahead and get some uh, some metrics and uh, we'll see what we're at I got my uh, PAR meter here. That's about as minimal sun that you're gonna get. Let's try to uh, see what kind of uh, wattage we can get out of 180 PAR. Okay, we're about up to 212, 220 uh, looms, and still we're producing 12.65 uh, volts, which is enough voltage to power the 12 volt power supply. But with 0.03 amps, 0.04, we're only getting about 0.5 watts max, so it'll take a little more sun. I've got the uh, power film 30 watt panel set up on the outside of the tent. It's a little windy, uh, but we're still getting good sunlight on it. Uh, you can see that the way this tent is designed, you can sit there and move this power film around on different sections of the, uh, the tent and the power film really does well when you get a little bit of uh, cloud on the panel itself. I like how it hooks up here on the bottom on the, every 16th section. It'll hook up. I'm thinking about putting some tie downs at the top so I can just hook them on there. It would be nice if this crease right here could fit right on one of these creases if it need to. This is where all your strength is, so it'd be best to have it on this. That way you get the sun on this side of the crease, and as the sun moves around, it would get more sun on this side of the panel. I'll look into it and see. I'll probably put some straps to be able to tie it to each one of the sections up here, and that would probably work the best. Okay, with the 30 watt power film set up on the tent. We're getting about 1200 to 1300 looms with a PAR meter and it's set up on sun. And you can see with that, we're generating about 7.7 .7 watts, 12.3 volts and about 0.63 amps. That's about what this uh, anti-gravity battery micro start will uh, receive and you can see we're going in there and it is definitely charging if you learned something from this video like it and please subscribe to my hang tough survival channel